The origin of magnets, from ancient myths to modern machines. Have you ever wondered what makes magnets magical? They can pull metal from a distance, defy gravity, and even make trains float. But this invisible force has been puzzling humans for thousands of years. So where did it all begin? Let's rewind to history. Our story starts in ancient Greece, around 2,500 years ago. Legend says a shepherd named Magnus was walking on Mount Ida, when the nails in his sandals suddenly stuck to the rocks, the mysterious stone he found there. It became known as magnetite, the world's first natural magnet. And that's where the word magnet was born. But humans weren't the first to use magnetism. Nature was Ancient Chinese explorers noticed that small magnetized stones always pointed north. They used these lodestones to invent the first compass. Thousands of years before GPS, it guided sailors across oceans and helped empires explore the world. For centuries, people thought magnetism was pure magic, a hidden power of the gods, or even a force of life itself. But during the Renaissance, scientists like William Gilbert studied it seriously. He discovered that Earth itself is one giant magnet. That revelation changed everything. Navigation, science, and technology. Then came the 19th century, when electricity met magnetism. Michael Faraday and James Clerk Maxwell revealed they were two sides of the same force. That discovery powered the modern world, from electric motors and generators to your phone S speaker and MRI machines. Today, magnets are everywhere, in computers, cars, credit cards, and even space exploration. They've all gone from myth to microchips, from magic stones to the force that keeps our modern world running. So next time you see a magnet stick to your fridge, remember, it's not just a trick of metal. It's 2,000 years of human curiosity, science, and wonder, all hidden in one invisible force. This is Flashback Facts, where even the unseen has a story worth telling.